Are you bad at Minecraft PvP? Yes, I'm very bad! Well, do not worry. By the end of this video, you'll get better. I, I promise. So really quickly, before the video starts, I'm just gonna explain what sprint resetting, comboing, and knockback is. So basically, sprint resetting is when you are stopping your sprint in any way in order to maintain a constant amount of knockback. And knockback is essentially the distance your opponent travels upon you hitting them. And in order for a combo to start, you must be able to hit your opponent however they cannot hit you. So right now, here's a demonstration of what sprint resetting does onto an entity. So let's say this pigman right here is the player you are fighting. So I'm gonna sprint reset on this thing right now and show you how much knockback I can deal onto this um, pigman. <laughs> So as you can see, the pigment has traveled um, this far. So what happens if while attacking a player, I'm not sprint resetting, I'm just holding down on W. Well, let me show you guys. Oh, as you can see, it has only traveled this far. So this is essentially like a, a simulation of, um, of real life players. If if you do not sprint reset, your knockback is gradually going to decrease as you saw just now when I was just holding down on W. So this is the mechanics of how Minecraft PvP works and you basically want to maintain that fixed amount of knockback so your opponent cannot hit you. Let me teach you guys the most basic yet one of the most effective methods called W tapping. So one thing about the sprint resetting method W tapping is that it's highly misunderstood and this is why majority of this video is going to be about W tapping. So without further ado, let's get into the techniques. I'm just gonna say that W tapping is essentially um, lifting off your W key when you hit your opponent and quickly pressing it again. Okay, so right here you can see that I am actually lifting off the W key every time I hit the bot and quickly pressing it again. So right there, you saw that my knockback was actually consistent. Yeah, so you can see here that the knockback I'm dealing onto the bot is um, consistent. And the bot can't even hit me at all. So this is essentially what you want to achieve. Oh, now it can because I probably messed up somewhere. Yeah, so right here, I'm maintaining a consistent amount of knockback. So you're just going to want to lift off your W key, lift off, and then and then press again. Every time you, you hit the player, when you hear that tut, tut, tut sound or when the player turns red, yeah, you just lift off your W and press it again. The rhythm is very similar to speed bridging. However, I think this is slower. So you're just going to lift off, press, lift off, press, lift off, press. So after you get the rhythm, it becomes like a part of you and you can essentially PvP like a god. And you'll find yourself to start winning more games. Okay, an indicator right here to, to, to know that you are W tapping is that you are you're moving forward with the bot. Yes. So you can see right here the bot is not coming any closer to me. And I'm actually moving forward with the bot. So what, before I knew how to W tap, I was like, hey, why, 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 why is it so hard to combo? I, I'm jitter clicking so fast and I can't combo because, um, because, I, because I was not doing it properly. So essentially what I was doing before was I was just, yeah, that, that's essentially what happens. I, I just spam my W key and it, no, it didn't work at all. The play, I, I got comboed. And, and I, yeah, I got comboed so hard and I, and I just died. So essentially, yeah, I'm just gonna recap. Um, player turns red, um, you hear that duck sound, you're going to want to lift off the W key and press it again. So when, when you're W tapping, you can actually apply a lot of other things like jumping. What exactly is strafing? What? How, how do you strafe? How do you strafe? What, 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 what it is? So it's basically moving side to side and oh, I, um, making your opponent not suspect anything. So right here, I'm actually circle strafing a bit. So yeah, you can, you can, when you learn to W tap, you can actually apply a lot of things. But most importantly, get W tapping right first. You don't want to confuse yourself. You're just going to want to get that rhythm right. Every time the player turns red or you hear that sound, 
let go of your W key and lift off. Oh, as you can see, that was actually a pretty good strafe. So that's essentially all W tapping is. And also another thing to note is when you are um, attacking the player or before you attack the player, make sure your crosshair is always onto your opponent because if it's not, then if your opponent's cross is always on you, it is likely that they are going to get more hits than you. I just want to say that um, we are approaching 200 subscribers really soon, so do comment down in the comment section what you want me to do for a 200 subscriber special. And I also um, want to thank you guys for every all the support you have given me despite my trash uploading schedule. You guys have been amazing honestly and I couldn't have asked for a better audience. So yeah. That's it for today's video and I hope you guys do get better at PvP. See you guys.